Cheers. Ваше здоровье. Boom. All right. <laughs> I have my headphones on, but it's still freaking coming through the speakers. There we go. Okay. Get that down to 10. I do still use Discord, and it is uh, quite active. Um, of course I said it right. I used to study Russian. <laughs> No, I don't try and toot my own horn on that. I only studied Russian for two years, and that was several years ago. <clears throat> Alrighty, so if none of you are aware, if some of you are not aware, well, let me just do some announcements first. So, <clears throat> you guys probably saw that video asking about if I wanted to do a Patreon or not. I took your guys' survey responses in. They were pretty good. Uh, the Patreon is presently live, if you wish to support me through that. Patreon.com slash FPS Chasley, that is presently live. And that is all I'll say about that for now. I'll probably make an official video at some point. Excuse me, but you guys are in the stream, so you get to hear that first. Uh, what else? <clears throat> I will be out of town next week, so this stream is going to go up next week. And then I'll be back. <clears throat> and I want to make uh, a lot of some more videos other than just like the the streams but uh yeah let's get to it so we're gonna be doing 1968 here what tank is that I don't even know what tank that is but yeah let's get to it uh oh wait uh where's the difficulty setting do I pick that <clears throat> or is it here the home screen What did I just do? I clicked credits or something. The difficulty will be upped. Difficulty is here. We're going to go up to realistic for this. Iron Man? Isn't the game already kind of Iron Man? You die once, you got a reason. Well, okay, I guess that may be slightly different. But yeah, it's been a while since I played this because of the move. So I'm not, I haven't been following all the updates completely, but yeah, we'll just, we'll put this up to realistic. <clears throat> oh, that's an American tank. Is that like a artillery piece or something? That beer does not taste as good after, after mac and cheese. 1968. Uh, yeah, do that. Sure. I guess that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll stay with Bart Mancuso, and we're going with the frickin... Yeah, I guess there were surgeons in 1968. We're going with the Skipjack. <laughs> As if life wasn't terrible enough, we're going to go with the Skipjack. Oh, my permit is tempting, and so is that Sturgeon, but we're going Skipjack. Skippy Skip. Accept. We are hereby in command of the USS Shark. Very well. No total rays. Well, it, skipped, it still has the, the updated prop, at least, so that's good, I suppose. But yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Invaded Czechoslovakia. The 2000 was weird. It was like, year 2000? It's like, oh, 2000 tanks. Oh, you can get this game tomorrow, Jonathan Styles. Why the wait? Rolling Thunder. I think, is that still Ronald Reagan right there? I, don't, I can't tell who's at the head of this table. I mean, it should be Tricky Dick, where's, but it still looks like Ronald Reagan, I think. <laughs> can't tell where, I don't see Tricky Dick in that picture. Well, it just depends which part of 1968. It could still be Johnson at some point. <clears throat> the balloon? The balloon gone up? I, I don't know. I can't really speak to that. I'm not really... <clears throat> you had probably have to ask something more specific than that. Not necessarily a naval historian. 
Oh, hello. Thank you, round and brown. I think I know who you are. <laughs> Is that you, Rush the Bus? <laughs> Brezhnev strikes back very well. The photo's in that 1980 campaign, isn't it? Brezhnev strikes again. Have I seen this before? I feel like I, this all this Brezhnev talk is familiar. I don't know. Okay, Tricky Dick. No, 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 he's not in yet. He's not in office yet. <clears throat> Alrighty. A wolf pack, eh? Okay, well, this is probably the best, well, mm, the best scenario I could ask for. I got Mark 37s. I wouldn't necessarily just say the defensive, but, uh, Soviet... Soviet naval doctrine was not like American naval doctrine. American naval doctrine was to be its own independent force. Soviet naval doctrine was mostly to support ground troops in Europe. And their carriers were not meant to project power like American carriers were. They're mostly meant for defensive purposes, just like air bases at sea, really. Oh, Brezhnev and, and you know, like the Brezhnev and the, uh, the Nixon tricky dick with the detente or whatever. All right, let's, uh... Oh, we're in port. Okay, so what do we got? We got Mark 16s. What's a Mark 45? Oh god, this is... I, I am not really up to snuff with weapons from this era. <clears throat> uh, I, I know Mark 37s are the homing torpedoes, so I want Mark 37 here. Oh yeah, and here you go. Here's the... Uh, this is the retro... UI right here that uh, Killerfish Games Mech Stark developed as a mod. <clears throat> Does anyone know what Mark 45s are? <laughs> <coughs> I know Mark 16s are like the straight runner torps, and Mark 37s are the slow ass sub hunting torps. I don't know what the Mark 45s are. Yeah, he did have he did have good eyebrow game. That commercial where it always shows like the eyebrow and the ear hair trimmer and the nose hair trimmer could have been like right for him. I don't know why I'm asking you guys with this huge delay. I have the internet at my disposal. I have all of human knowledge in the palm of my hand in the form of an HTC One M8 <laughs> <clears throat> Mark 45 torpedo. Is it a nuke torp? Oh, why is it in here? Does it actually do nuclear stuff? <laughs> I didn't think that they didn't. I was under the impression there was no nuclear stuff model in this game. Ass tore? Like it'll tore a hole? It tore a hole in your ass? Ass tore? Alright, then I will, uh. Disregard those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, oh God, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out what's a good, what is a good. Uh, I'm gonna do something silly like this. What is a good ratio of torpedoes here? I'm gonna take out a few of those and put in some more of these. We're gonna have to be getting into some Russian sub baffles here. <clears throat> <laughs> Gorbachev was in Pizza Hut advertisements. That's amazing. Okay. I think we are good. Let us, uh... I'm surprised it's not showing us the port. Oh my god, nine hours. So I found out that the time only goes by as you reload things. And each one of those takes two hours to unload. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because that, that's some... Or four, two hours each. That took four hours. So let's just get out of here. Uh, orders. <clears throat> A wolf pack of subs will attempt to break out to the North Atlantic within the next seven days. Okay, so we're just gonna be chilling in the frickin' over this way then. Chilling in the Gaiu Gap. Oh, hello. Come at me, bro. 
Oh yeah, coming right for me. Boom, shakalaka, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, the frickin' the frickin' uh reverberations. What the hell do I call them in dangerous waters? I, I know I have a word for it, but I just it's been so long since I've experienced it, I forget what I call it in dangerous waters. <laughs> All hands, man your battle stations. What do all what do these things signify? I don't even know. Oh, those are like the load on load buttons from before. <clears throat> yes, the Soviet submarine doctrine is much more pack focused. At least at this time, yeah. But American sub doctrine has always pretty much been lone wolf because don't want to worry about potential friendly fire or whatever. It would have <laughs> putting that aside, yes, it would have international ramifications besides just, you know. The tactical implications. Hello. Oh, I don't remember being this shallow. Oh yeah, look at my. Oh no, it's all red. I can't see that for crap. Oh, God. This is bad. Well, we're stuck with it for now. I have to do that. Uh, do we have any sonar contacts, Mr. Squidward? Let's go ahead to third. No, don't do that. Especially in this era, we definitely have the upper hand over Russian submarines. Hello, hello, Theron Stanford Stanford. Yes, this is Skipjack 1968 campaign. We got the uh, uh, Mech Stark's uh, retro user interface, and we got Jewel Helm's realism mod turned on. And uh, some of the features of that realism mod are uh, increased reload times. I could surface. It's a submarine only battle right here, but that's fine. I'm not sure what they were pack focused. <clears throat> okay, now we can go to two thirds. Is there a layer? Conditions. There is a layer. Don't seem to be picking up anyone over here, so let's keep going down. On the way down. Oh wait, what's that? What's uh, even everything out? That's X, isn't it? Okay, I pressed Z to try and do that earlier. I was surprised why that didn't work. Oh yes, that is most unfortunate that he got epilepsy there. I would still take the skipjack in 1968. I would still take the skipjack. <laughs> no, it's the wrong key. I want to do X. X is the pet the pet the pet. Okay, we need to bring that conformal to bear because the frickin' the spherical is high frequency centric, and high frequencies don't traverse oceans that well. The conformal is better. It gets more lower frequencies, which go further. <clears throat> Hello, Duncan! So this is going to be the kind of thing... I've heard with these Mark 37s... What does that mean? Oh, is this just the... Uh, you can just, like, look at stuff up here? Okay. I've heard with the... Uh, Mark 37s, they pretty much got to get right up someone's butt to sink them with it. <clears throat> Hello, Naga Nahara Mio. <laughs> 7.05. Oh, okay, you're in central time then. Yeah, it's uh, 8 8.06 for me. 10.70 feet, very well. Alright, let's uh level this out. I forgot I don't have a toad, so maybe I should have closed up the starting distances. I'm expecting them to be doing something like this. Ooh, have you guys seen this though? This is nice looking, isn't it? Got ourselves a nice little UI here. Mech Stark's retro UI. <clears throat> it's possible they're still above the layer too. I mean, that's always possible as well. Just out of range. Oh, so is 1070 feet test depth or crush depth? It does, doesn't it? It's nice. This is on a. Uh, this is available on Subsim. I probably should have put links to it in the in the in the chat. I guess I still could. <clears throat> 
But the Jewel Helm Realism mod I'm pretty much getting a sneak peek of right now. I think it might be incorporated into the next patch. I have heard of it. Haven't played it. I guess we could speed up time. Why am I going down slowly but surely? I don't know. I'm going down slowly but surely. It's weird. Okay, new contact, new contact. Juliet, hello. Where is this Juliet? Oh, I was zoomed out really far. Whoa, wait, what? Uh, oh, <laughs> holy crap. Is this real? Is this real life right now? Uh, yeah, contact faded, I bet. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That was interesting. Uh, turn around. <clears throat> uh, put that bad boy active. Yeah, that looks good. That was really close aboard, dude. That was really freaking close aboard. Goodness. He seemed to be maneuvering as well. You like the Juliet? It's atrocious. I can't stand it. Alright, see you, Figmo. Thanks for stopping by for a little bit. <clears throat> Rightful runner. Shake the man loose. So we got our we got our our sacrificial zinc back here or whatever. It's zinc, isn't it? The sacrificial zinc. The mobile dumpster. <laughs> The, he was in range like so sh for such a short amount of time it almost seemed like he was uh beneath a liar but this is the only liar here oh I don't remember I'd have to look I would have to look if any of you are in the cold waters discord jewel helm said it a few days ago um and you could look it up for me <laughs> I'm playing the 68 campaign Stanford so there is no narwhal in this campaign all right, where was this? Uh, this Juliet was right here. Where the hell did he get to? I'm not picking him up. This is weird. I should be seeing him. Unless he was just going so quiet. Let's, uh... I'm weary of going to two-thirds, but I, I may need to catch up to this dude. <laughs> just freaking seem to slink by. It, it, it is an SSK, so it's going to be quiet at low speeds. <clears throat> oh, sorry. It's not an SSK. Excuse me. It's an SSG. The K in SSK denotes a hunter-killer submarine. Excuse me. I'm not sure how many people are in this group. It could just be the one Juliet, but I'm not going to be that naive and think there's only one. There could be multiple dudes here. Every time I see the Skipjack hull form, I just think of Phantom because there's a Skipjack involved in that movie and in November in like the torpedo fight at the end of the movie there. Oh, where's this Juliet? Where's this son of a gun? What the hell is this freaking little hump right here? I don't know. Apparently these uh these bronzy type plates are where the emergency buoys would come out of if the sub were to sink. Phantom? That mo the movie is called Oh shit, hello. Oh wait, is that just where it was before or something? The movie is called Phantom. It's a uh <clears throat> alternate history of what happened with K one two nine, the uh, the Gulf submarine that sunk in the Pacific Ocean under mysterious circumstances. <clears throat> I would hope it's not on the seabed. And well, for me, it would be good if it was on the seabed because it would have died. <laughs> would have hit crushed depth. I'm going to stay at one third for now. This is a very sketchy knife fight type thing right here. Okay, I got you, Duncan. Oh, yeah, Duncan. Yeah, you should know all this, Duncan. <laughs> Been researching like a madman. Ben Affleck is not in Phantom. <laughs> or was that a. Uh that just being a derpy quote. Oh God, where's this Juliet? I'm about to freaking go Yankee search on his ass. <clears throat> hmm, this is not good. Let's go up. 
take a peek topside. Oh, uh, this is not good. Where did that Juliet get to? <laughs> I saw it for like three seconds. There's no way that could be the only time. What's the ambient noise like here? It's pretty loud here right now. 111 decibel, but we are pretty deep. That shouldn't be of consequence, really. <clears throat> given how deep we are. But I'm gonna go up. See if there ain't anyone shallow up here. Chillin'. Six tubes and... St oh, well, this doesn't have a spherical. That's ju this has a cylindrical. Tube straight out the bow. Oh, this is sketchy. This Juliet... When you press T to try and cycle through a contact, it kind of glitches for a second if there's nothing there. <clears throat> Yankee Search is what Clancy called it in Hunt for Red October when you go active. Yeah, it is. At least at that point in time. They started caring eventually, but at the beginning there, they didn't really care too much. Or they at least wanted quantity over quality or something. <sighs> Phantom is alright. Don't go into it expecting anything. I always like to say that it had the very, a very good potential to be good, but it, in the end I didn't really like how it turned out. But it is very interesting how it handles some things. It has a pretty good, crew, a pretty good cast, so it could, it could have been a very good movie. But I didn't like how some things were handled towards the end of it. Ah, uh, I don't like this. I don't like that, Branthony. My situ situational awareness is like bingo right now. Uh, th there's nothing wrong with tube one. I just have it selected. Hello, Roland. I'm using the the uh, retro UI mod developed by one of the Killerfish game art guys. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't tell you, Mason. I don't know what the difference is between them in a practical sense. All right, we're going deep. We're going deep. I thought this could only do like 20 degree down on the planes. We're going down. Got to find this dude. Does, I don't. I I didn't know how. I didn't see how fast he was going when we passed him before. But I'm very tempted to go active. Excuse me. I'm very tempted to go active. Excuse me again. Because I don't know where this guy is. But just because I go active doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to find him. But I wish the time lapse would... would I wish it would come out of time lapse when you detect someone. Because that would have been helpful with that Juliet. I could have just turned around and just shot a torp up his butt. Oh, yes, there, there are, Richard. I did, not, I did not see your comment. I apologize. Ooh, level out. Let's keep up this two-thirds so we can try and potentially catch up to this dude. Yeah, there are mods for that. <clears throat> but Killerfish is definitely going to come out with a... Uh, they're going to come out with a DLC for that eventually. Shit, where the hell is this Juliet dude? Oh yeah, there's mods for this already. Yeah, this is a... Uh, there's lots of mods. I, uh, I also have a realism mod in here, which may be the reason why this is such a hard fight right now. <laughs> the ambient noise is 111 decibel, which is pretty damn loud. Uh, Skipjack got retrofitted later with a toad array, but toad arrays did not really exist in 1968 yet, I don't think. At least in a production sense. The Skipjack and the Permit and the, uh, the Sturgeon all had like that jerry-rigged setup where it comes out this way. And the Sturgeon, I think before they did that, they also had clip-ons. So you would like strap it on and port and you just clip it on. As you were leaving the, the, the sub-base, a speedboat would come out and like clip it on with some divers and then off you'd go. Well, the halibut wouldn't do much in this game. The halibut was a freaking 
like a research sub basically. Surface flank speed and ping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the hotkey for active search? Is it shift A? Is that the hotkey for switching to active search? Where is this Juliet dude? It seems like at the, at the tail end of that encounter, he was getting a whiff of me because he was turning. He was starting to turn. <clears throat> Shift A. Okay. I'm going to keep on this. I'm going to assume he went this way a little bit. What's our range scale looking like here? One kiliar. Okay, so we're within like two miles of where we last saw him. I'm just gonna press on this way at two thirds. See if we catch up to him here. I'm not gonna bother with standard because I'm not gonna hear anything at standard. I don't think. So let's go ahead this way at two thirds and let's do some time lapse. And we'll try and catch up to him this way. Did they fix that? bug with the signature kind of a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> Where is this bastard? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say so. The Narwhal was more of a war sub that was just uh, like a test platform for uh, technologies, whereas the Halibut was like a spy sub. I mean, it was a while since we saw that Juliet. It was a while ago. God. I'm doing this so I can try and kind of keep the baffles clear in case he pops up behind me or something. God, who knows where he went. Yeah, unguided torpedoes. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not going against surface ships. Uh, where's this dude at? See neither hair nor hide of him. Cripes. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Yes, okay, good. I'm, I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna come out of time lapse and we're going active. And we're going to come about while we're going active here. It's possible he did go above the layer. I did see him down here and he was deeper than me. This active search does not seem to be yielding anything right now. Oh god, where did this guy get to? <clears throat> Uh, this game has Russian carriers, but there are no American surface ships modeled in this game. I don't know what kind of weapons the Juliet has, but probably not very capable ones. The Test 71 may be its most advanced torpedo at this point in time. I don't know if they had SIT 65s yet. Where is this dude? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming he just canned his engines, probably. It's diesel electric. They can be pretty stealthy if they want to be. <clears throat> but man, he just seemed to slip away. But yeah, after this, I just did like, I'm doing like a full 360 with the active search, but we're about to come shallow and try and look for him above the layer again. Cause, ah, oh, we had this guy and I, didn't notice it quick enough to frickin' slow down. But yeah, the Juliet's main purpose is to deploy cruise missiles, not really to do anti-sub operations. Alright, let's secure from that and let's come up. <clears throat> I 
Wow, the halibut has quite a storied history then. <laughs> Where is this Juliet? This is freaking infuriating. This could be a side effect of uh, <laughs> Jewel Helm's realism mod that I have here right now. <clears throat> if this Juliet were a nuke boat, we wouldn't have an issue picking him up, I don't think. But since he's a diesel electric, we're having issues. A good book on modern sub warfare? What do you mean? Like a su submarine stories or like a description of sub warfare or something? Oh, don't worry, Stanford, they will. They'll be coming out with modern DLC at some point. <laughs> uh, Neho, Naho, you got me freaking cracking up there. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, I'm streaming them, Donnie. Oh my god, I'm streaming them. All right, we're going active up here as well. Let's come about full circle. I thought I just heard the ping of a torpedo. <laughs> Where is this Juliet? There are vessels nearby, so at least that can tell me something useful. Julehelm is one of the devs, yes. I'll have to tell him about my experience, though, that this Juliet is freaking impervious to detection. Oh, did I just get a ping back? Oh my god! Where is that? I don't know where that is. <clears throat> it seemed to be deep. <clears throat> Get down there, get down there. Crash dive. <coughs> I don't know where this torpedo is. It seems to be distant. It seems to be a rather distant torp. <laughs> What's up, James? <laughs> Where's this torpedo? I don't know what kind, does anyone recognize what kind of torpedo this looks like? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look like a test from the tests I've seen. Oh shit, that's me! <laughs> There's a submarine off that way. <clears throat> Yo, get to speed, move, run. We're cavitating? Yeah, whatever, fine. Okay, wow, Julehelm. Okay, this realism mod, I think that messes with. Oh, that thing's turned, it's homing. Shit. <clears throat> Is it homing? <coughs> doesn't seem like it is. I'm not even seeing it on the map here or anything like that. Okay, Jewel Helm's re realism mod seems like it's in a position to kick my ass, sea bass. Oh, hello. It's just like going up. What is that thing doing? Where is it going? It's going that way. Oh, there it is. Now it's on my freaking display. Okay, so if you're going too fast, yeah, the sonar won't pick it up. That makes sense. I think it's a passive torp. So now we gotta find this guy. Oh, it was snaking. Okay. The torp seemed to have come from this direction, southwest, so we're heading that way. We're going to head southwest. Oh, 
<clears throat> Let's get some uh, some time lapse here. Kind of head this way, try and find this freaking Juliet off this way. Something shot at me from over this direction here. I don't know. That torpedo looked like it changed course at the end there with like a some kind of freaking wire course change or something like that. I don't know. Stuff never works exactly like it's supposed to. That's why there's always checklists and everything. Hmm. Curious. Curious indeed, Georgie. I cannot read these frickin'... I guess on realism mode, I don't get to see these decibel readouts. <laughs> So I can't tell what, what my what my sensors are seeing right now. <coughs> no, Clancy is just an insurance writer who spent a lot of time reading books. <laughs> oh, get away from that sonar screen. I'm speeding up here. I don't need that. I sometimes wish the history would stay a little longer. If this guy's going like 8 or 10 knots, I'm not going to catch up to his ass. Like, good luck. I have to wait till he sends off a torp and I can snapshot his ass or something. <clears throat> uh, I don't have Windows 10 yet, but a lot of other people have, have had success getting it to work on Windows 10. I'll be getting Windows 10 when I upgrade my PC at some point. <coughs> Where's this damn Juliet? The last time I detected him, I was really close, like 2,000 kill yards. Yeah, what the hell? I'm losing depth a little bit. Or increasing depth a little bit. Uh, I would say you should get Windows 10. It has better security than Windows 7. <laughs> I, I mean, I've used Windows 7 a little bit. Uh, Windows 10 a little bit at work, and I do like it. <clears throat> Hello, Fragger Frags a lot. Frag Sar. I, know, I, didn't, I never got why the English version of Sar is spelled C-Z-A-R. It should be T-S-A-R. Did you dunk him? What happened? Dude, I have no idea where this frickin... I'm about to frickin' start pinging again or something, man. Because this is ridiculous. It seems like the, the sub is defaulting to a slight down bubble. When it should be defaulting to a slight up bubble. Okay. <laughs> I figured it would be something petty like that. <laughs> I'll probably be going for another hour and a half here. Alright, let's frickin' get active again. Let's get active, biatch. I don't... I don't necessarily want to snapshot him. I mean, the Juliet's slow. My Torp could catch up to him. I don't want him to run, though. It's like, when I find him, it's like, I want to get him. <laughs> For some reason, me pinging above the layer is what made him launch last time, but that torp, I'm pretty sure that torp came from uh, below the layer. <clears throat> Go up again. Up, up, up. Oh, Skipjack in 84? Good lord. <clears throat> that is crazy. That's like That seems like something where they'd only assign a Skipjack to do that if it literally had no other options. <laughs> I need to get some water. I'll be right back. Vessels nearby. Juliet class Phantom activated. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, there is ice in this game. And you can mark it with your periscope. Uh, I hate how escape does not get you out of the menu, but vessels are nearby, so there you go. <sighs> trying to coax this son of a bitch out. He's trying to be like, nah, I want to go sink shipping. Nah. I think he did ping me at one point, though. <clears throat> oh god, Chairsley. Chairsley! That's like a good t-shirt idea. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, the throat clears are particularly strong today. And for that I apologize. What am I making for right now? Two thirds. <coughs> oh, there you go. Okay. How do you go? Why am I looking at my phone? I do not know. Oh well, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Stop it. There you go. <coughs> Periscope does not work underwater in this game. We're capitating. Slow the hell down, then. The lamp. Might buy what, Cali? I could just snapshot a torpedo in someone's general direction. Problem is, I don't really know where that torpedo came from last time, because it looked like it turned at the last second there or something. I should probably should have marked, noted which bearing it was coming from. See ya. Nitus problema. TBH means to be honest. That sounds like child abuse, Jonathan Styles. <laughs> <clears throat> Come at me, bro. Let's get a little deeper so I can go faster. But not too deep. Just a little bit deeper. So I'm not cavitating at two thirds. Come at me, bruh. So, oh, there's no vessels nearby. No. Oh. Whoa, what was that? I thought I saw something over there. <clears throat> you know what? Is this like landing operations where if I cut and run now, the mission has just failed? Because I almost want to go back to the map and try this again. <laughs> <coughs> All this water is so smexy. We're in the middle of frickin' nowhere. <clears throat> Come at me, bruh. 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 Come at me, bruh. There's no vessels nearby. I may have outrun him or he outran me or something. I don't know. I think we just gotta call this one quits. 